period you're talking about, I don't think the work got a lot of support. I don't think there was a lot of discussion. It wasn't like Hayduck and Peter and Charlie and, you know, that it was celebrated and more intellectualized in lots of venues. I think Los Angeles has, has always been criticized mostly from points east for actually not being explicit about its conceptual and intellectual intent, having a venue and a forum. I don't think lo it's never really worked in Los Angeles. I mean, there's not like the Architectural League or Cooper or, or Columbia or even Pratt, you know, like in, in, in New York sense, uh, or the Art Institute in Chicago or the MAC in Vienna. I mean, LA doesn't seem. Uh, so SciArc didn't play a role in any way, is what you're. No, I, I wouldn't say it, it, it didn't play a role, but you're talking about the architecture we did, and my answer to you is I think I would have done what I did if I was the last person standing in L.A. Um, and I think you can start to see leaks. One in interesting guy was Peter Cook. Another interesting figure in all of this was Charles Jenks as a sort of recorder of things going on in there, who tried to see work coalescing and becoming a body of ideas, a group with certain tendencies and instincts and interests. But honestly, I think, I think the people are very different. I've always thought the work was different one from the other. Um, and I think that's, you can see that now better. Um, so I think, I wouldn't say there wasn't a level of collegiality. There wasn't the opposite. Uh, but I don't, I think there was something more like individual people working in their own ways for their own reasons and then starting to bump into each other and talk to each other um, and in that way share, I think, some interests. But I don't think it was the, the sort of three musketeers stuff that really made it a body, you know, all Athos, Porthos, Aramis, D'Artagnan, let's go get them, you know? It, I don't think that was, uh, I, I mean, I think it was read that way in some cases, and I wouldn't say none of that is so. Um, and you can see, you know, many years later, sitting around in the Angevante, you know, when I give it, Tom came and Peter came and Wolf and, and, and some other people, and, and we talked about it, but I think what's interesting about the group is, is the individualities rather than the similarities. Uh, and I'm not saying there aren't, are, there aren't some similarities. Um, so I, I, I don't think it was a matter of, of, of s some of these groups, like I, you could see the, you know, uh, Melnikov or the Vesnin brother, you know, the, 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 where, where people, or, uh, Team Ten or the Athens Charter guys, things like that. I don't. I don't think Los Angeles was was that explicit or intentional, or a kind of group think. Are there are a couple of venues where you were gathered together in hmm? terms of, let's say, Tom Maine putting on an exhibition. Um, yeah, that was Dreyfus. You should get those Dreyfus. stories. Was it John Dreyfus, who is a writer for the L.A. Times? I don't know if they could find that stuff, but. But there's a whole chronology of, of every week in Tom's place. I, don't know, I was down in Venice at the time, and everybody did a show, and um, all, the, all the architects and then they did a lecture and a show. And I think if you want to, and, and there are people who have attributed a lot to John Dreyfus. I don't know, Mouchamp may also be a factor in this. Um, that the prominence of the discussion at the time, uh, this was important, that Dreyfus put it all well, like that, they put it on the front page or something, and at a time when there's, you know, when there's no internet, never mind no internet, and no cable TV, you know, there are a few cable stations and magazines and newspapers. So the prominence of, of a discussion like this with a lot of attention, I, re I remember that uh, Dreyfus is, 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 is a factor, and I, I think maybe I'm not, I'm not giving enough, because this was very early in that time. <coughs> like I remember this, there was some AIA award, and we won an award, I think for the 708 house. 
Dreyfus wrote the longest story you will ever see in any newspaper on the, on the 708 House. And the, the Bank of America, those twin towers on Figaro, I don't know, somebody did it, A.C. Martin or somebody that did, and they didn't win. And, you know, so, and the guy, I remember a discussion, and the guy said to John, who became friends of, of, of all of ours, um, you know, Moss remodels a chimney, and you write 50 pages, and we have a $60 million <laughs> twin towers, and we get zippity doo dah, you know? And, and so I do think, I think you're onto something that I, that I neglected. The local attention to it, which was Dreyfus deciding against what it, whatever was the rule at the time. There's another guy who said, this matters. This matters, that doesn't matter. And as a critic, I mean, that, you know, critics can do that. I mean, it wasn't only Matthew Arnold, I think Mouchamp also. I mean, did, this is a, an article that Mouchamp did. It was uh, pretty helpful to us, in a way. And he was willing to support it when, when other people weren't. I, so I think, I think Herbert is one. I think John Dreyfus is another one. Philip was helpful 